Hey, what's up, y'all? We back with another one, okay? Um, uh, you know how I be um shouting out to YouTubers and everything and all the all the good talented people, cause you know I'm one of the greatest talented people out here. But it's a group of us, so I always got to share the knowledge. Then we got um we got my nigga Corporate, right? And um, I was watching this YouTube channel and it got this series where it's like. Black Chicago be like, oh, black girls be like, you know, how the little memes on uh, Instagram and shit. And I think this is an ingenious series. Like, he got his whole neighborhood basically letting him talk for them. You know what I'm saying? Like his little sister and shit, Brazil Marie and all that. And, and it's just it's just like learning the Chicago lingo and vernacular, you know. Every mama is an OG, you feel me? So, like, I was just wondering, is it part of the series or the story? Like, because supposedly his mother, this is a theory now. And make sure y'all go subscribe to him. And I'm going to send him this video. And so, that he can fuck with me too. Because he can see how deep my theorizing is. Check this out. My theory is, and I don't know if this is true or not. So, don't nobody get mad and start blowing up the comment section. Or turning it around some way. I'm just, I'm just paying homage to his shit in this way. You feel me? So my theory is, right? Is his mama really a crackhead, or is it just storyline? Because in the series with his mama and uh, Miss Parker, um, and his baby sister Brazil Marie, that name stuck with me. Now they say it all the time. I'm like, dude, that didn't go. But if you hear it enough, I guess it does. But uh, is his mama really a crackhead or is it just a storyline? Because if you follow the other regu regular videos like that, where he just go ahead and say that, like he's not part of the series. Like he'd be like, oh, uh, today I did such and such and it's basically contained in that old video. And then he has a little more little story at the end where, because uh, so he supposedly had a foster dad and... And I'm trying to think, well, did this happen back in the day, like when his mama was on drugs, you feel me? And she got better because it can happen, you feel me? Because uh, the same, you say with my mother, she, she got better and became a great person. Me, I'm going through it my damn self. I ain't got that yet. I'm still trying to go through that transition. I don't know how this bitch did it, but I got to learn. But anyway, uh, so just like in my kids, that could be the case, but. Just going by the videos, which is ingenious, and I do like I do like some of his music, yo, bro. I can produce you some shit and work with you, dog. But his lips is pink as shit. <laughs> All jokes aside, though, I ain't saying first Brazil Marie did. So let's go, y'all. Let's get it on. And y'all, tell me what you think. And tell corporate to holler at your girl Charlotte. You know what that is. You heard me? So first, we're gonna go with the. One of those regular videos that contain itself for tomorrow. And then we're going to go to the series where you can see what I'm talking about. And, and you tell me at the end of this. Let's get it. It was a half day. So they had let us out early or whatever. So I'm walking home from school conversating with this little slim thick type situation. You did. I was like, I'm coming home. Shoot. She was like. And by the way, y'all niggas know I'm looking for a girlfriend. My wife on he hiatus, but I'm looking for a girlfriend. And every motherfucker bitch he know in this motherfucker is cold. I'm talking uh uh sub zero Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Come here, finish him kinda bad. You feel me? Like 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 the asses in this shit is just like Drake's seat. It's so uncomfortable, nigga. Like wow. Even his mama got a little muffin, yo. What the hell, bro? Just had to say that. So, corporate, if you need any one of the bitches off your heads, please email me. Corporal Comedy at Gmail, and I will slide up and slide through, dog. You feel me? Boy, no, you not. So then, I'm. Yeah, I. So then, we get to her crib. I took one more shot on. I wanna come, you feel So then she turned around and she was like, you era, come on. <laughs> a look, perseverance goes a long way, you feel me? 
So I followed her to her five and she said, now we in there bold. She acting fake bashful. So at this point, I needed to perform a test to assess the direction of the situation. You feel me? So I slide up and hand show you like, ooh, she playfully threw that motherfucker back on me. What the microwave say when he hits that motherfucker? Bing! She was ready. You hear me? So then I proceeded to follow her to the back of the apartment where she was sitting on the bed. Um, say less. I went and sat down next to shorty. She got the rubbing on my leg. I instantly, but but then we heard a door unlock. Boy, my heart got the beating like a drunk husband. Yeah, her OG had came home under the early act. So I'm frantic and trying to find a place of refuge. You feel me? So I heard we up under the bed with it. I'm talking about uh for my followers. OG is the mamas now. I like this tone because, especially if you from Chirac, nigga, if your mother raised you well enough to survive, I ain't talking about situational or circumstance because there is some well-raised Chicagoans that get shot just because they're alive. Because niggas is real over there. That's on gang and mothers. But it mean like your mama got to have a certain amount of gangster. Your mama got to have a certain certain way of carrying herself when you in the war zone of the hood. You feel me? You can't just have a basic mama that don't know nothing about the hood because you can't raise them in the hood. You feel me? So that's why I think that's a, that's a great way to uh, kind of pay homage to your mama like or mamas in general. The ones that keep their children and try their best. Yo, them so OGs, original gangsters, yo. That's old mothers, yo. Just in the nick of time, right before her OG came to the door, like, what are you doing, huh? Shorty said it was a half day today. Her OG was like, the school ain't tell me about no half day. Now I'm on this day. Like, 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 shit. Wait. Then I hear her OG, whose book bag is that? Oh, um, never. Y'all remember on Metal Gear Solid when you about to die and then the whole video game go red and you just, you know, <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. You playing the video game, you be at home talking about, because uh, uh, you about to die, son? You be like, no, I'm about to die, I can't breathe, Lord Jesus, take me with you. And then you snap out of it because it's just a video game, god damn, it's getting too real. Uh, so then she slide across the room like, get your ruffle under that bed. Now. Now at this point, I'm so I came up from under the bed looking like, damn. So then she like, so what am I supposed to do about you being in the house with my daughter? Woo, woo, woo. So at this point, I'm just standing there looking at she Okay, now, remember, remember when the when the whoop de boo shit? You know, nigga, be like, yeah, so it just happened like, bam, a whoop de boo, nigga. Um, what? Yeah, so I was over there and it was like, bam, whoop de whoop. Huh? <laughs> what that mean in nigga terms is, all the other shit that happened, we just gonna skip past that, so we just gonna say whoop de whoop. And you know who else say that shit? DJ Ghost. Shout out DJ Ghost to the Ghost Gang, yo. That nigga cute too. Trying to preach, but I'm thinking in my head like, been doing it like a cat. No. Wait, so, then she, where's your mother? Um, she a crackhead, I don't even know. You feel me? Kept it a buck with the lady, you feel me? So she looking at me, I'm looking at her, she looking at me, and she, just get out of my house. So I'm, um, say less, please. So now, before we go to the next episode, which concludes my theory, could, could his mama actually be his aunt? Because his sister could still be his sister. And your aunt could look like you, just like I was explaining to my mother. My mother's sister does not look like me. My father's sister does, so she could be my mama. Get what I'm saying, y'all? Let's get it. So I got my book bag and got up out that gym. More of the story, it was a half day. We shouldn't have even went to school. I could have been crunching shorty all morning. I tweet on oh God. Make sure y'all go to SoundCloud. 
Like and subscribe to a channel, you feel me? But yo, um, so that was the, remember I said this is story with a moral at the end, but this is part of the series, this part, so watch this. As hell from the day before, so you know sleep hit different. I wake up, my little sister standing over me, she, boy, you ugly. I'm laying there like, why? She grabbed my flower phone. She, did you get these shoes so they could match your lips? Tweaking with me, bro. Then she, a sleepy oil cap, a napping knee, a stepped on Twix. I am all at sea at this point. And she, yo, and it took me a minute to get them jokes. A sleeping oil cap, nigga, that's funny as fuck. A sleeping knee. She got more black people jokes like she ain't black. But that's funny as fuck, dude. But he got some pink ass lips. No cap, bro. Look, Patrick and your lips the same color. Oh, God. Let's ask the universal question. Is my brother ugly? Then reached in her pocket and pulled out an old sword. Take a four to tell the sheet. Pick a number. Slide it. Slide it on you. One, two, three, four, five. Pick a color. Hot. Orange. She called herself revealing the answer to the million dollar question. And would it say yes? I just look at it. I get up. Snatch it. Inspect. Okay, now I want y'all to look, look at the pronouns he used. Okay, he says she. And then he say I. That is actually the proper way to say it. Under the regulations and rules of the Rastafari. High. Not just because he got dreads. It just happened to fit. Because usually regular people would say me and her. He says she and I. I just wondered if y'all called that. I don't even think he called that, nigga. Oh, mothers. And then what I found. All the answers said yes. Rigged. Whole time I couldn't even be mad at her. After finding out who shot her yesterday, I couldn't help but be in my feelings at the thought of just knowing I almost lost that baby. I, I love you. She, what was that for? Hmm. If only she knew. All I could say, nothing. I just needed you to know that. She. Okay, well, mama got in a fight yesterday. Ah, mama got in a fight. Now, she, ask yourself, and pimped out the room. I had to see what was to this shit myself, so I got up, walked in the front. Remember the pimp video I dropped a couple of hours ago? He said it just pimped out the room. Hit me walk with a smooth bop, with the slow bob, you know what I'm saying? Like, probably from the fifth floor. And, uh, you know what? Remember Miss Parker from Friday? She's supposed to be in the hottest yellow boat on the block. The bitch he called Miss Parker in here is really a Miss Parker. Think about it, right? Right? Right. No, do you get it? Mm -hmm. You remember the first one, right? Yeah. She wasn't that bad, was she? Mama was at the kitchen table playing cards with her bestie or whatever. So why? Brazil told me you got dog walk yesterday, mama. Facts or norm? <laughs> Blew that yeah, thing. She just turned dog. around and looked at me. I, nah, I'm just playing my. But what happened? She, I, so boom. Me and Brazil go to the grocery store. One of her little overgrown friends thinks she finna come pound on my baby. I had to intervene like. Have you noticed how well they act this shit out? Like, they be on point with his voice. Like, it ain't even like, this is some YouTube shit. This is like professional, right? You're in the video with me, ho. Speak up. Yeah. Oh, little mama ain't finna be none of that. Excuse me. That's why we gonna sit over there. That's why we gonna see you in the room. He be muzzling me, y'all. He be muzzling me. 
not facts or at all. Her OG come out the cut like she want to tee up. I, yeah, I, by the way, she got the Remy Ma Melanie on Fleet shirt. I don't like the song, but I get the concept. She bad. She swing up. Uh-uh, boo-boo. Ain't finna be none of that. Now, whole time, we in checkout. I instantly scan this shit. Boop, 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 boop. Floor, stomper. Mm, mm, mm. Ambulance, get up out of here. <laughs> Funny as hell. I, so you whoop the mama. She, hell yeah, mama bet don't play about her cubs. And walked out the kitchen, her buddy at the table like, so I ain't seen you in a while, young man. How you been? I, I been good, Miss Parker. How you been? She, I'm doing good for an old lady. You growing up to be so handsome. Damn. I, bless. And thank you. She, you welcome. Y'all got some water in here, baby. I. You saw how he did it. Bless. Thank you. With the lips. You gonna lick his lips. Them bubblegum lips. Them bubblegum lips. I'm parched. I, I don't even know. It might be something in the refrigerator. Man, look. She got up and walked to the refrigerator to check. Bent over. Mamma mia. I die. I'm finna hop in the shower, Miss Parker. She. All right, baby. I hop out, get dressed, right before I'm finna leave. Mama come out the room. Son, I need you to take my baby go get something to eat. OG time and be impeccable. I, for what? She, I'm sorry. I, no problem, ma'am. She, oh, okay. She tell her friend, girl, I need you to help me put these lashes on. She walked back in her room. Her friend walked past. Gave me the cakey tongue. Freaky old lady. All right, man, let's go. Miss Parker, bad night. Ever, you hear me? Anyway, I get Brazil. We get ready to head out. I'm driving. Mad as hell. I turn around, look at Brazil. She, you acting like I want to be around you. I'm thinking to myself, like, yeah, I'm finna drop off at one of them little green boxes. She, I'm cold. I, my jacket in the back, put it on. She grabbed my jacket, wrap herself up. Y'all can't see the jacket from this angle, but the shit is on cold. Bennett or whatever. After that, I get this message on Facebook from this little petite situation I tried to hop on in high school. I never forget. I remember going to her crib. Shit was about to get cracking. Her pops had came home early. I had to flee into the bathroom. Ended up being in there while he was on a toilet going ape shit. Literally, bro. Almost got caught whole time if it wasn't for me thinking quick on my G-Fazos and channeling my inner spidey senses. It was crazy. Hadn't seen her since then. G Fazos for my subscribe ladies is gangster feet. I hey stranger sheep slide on all bad. Definitely had Brazil with me. I hit her back. I'm busy. The vapors. I turn around. Brazil, what you wanna eat? She balled up in the back seat. I right. call her name. Brazil. No response. Huh. I Yo, have you noticed niggas always leave their kids in the shit they ain't gonna get to or have? Portia, Brazil, Venezuela. Bitch, you live in Chicago. You ain't gonna get neither or go nowhere. Instantly message Shorty back. Whole time, what's your address? <laughs> Looks like I got a little time to make a stop. <laughs> I get to Shorty crib. Brazil was still in the car sleep. I wasn't going to be there for too long, though. I just had to see what was to this little situation right quick. She buzzed me in. I go inside. I get to her door. There she goes standing right there. Oh, my God. Hey, boo. And welcome me with a warm embrace. Still had a little set of conservative cupcakes on her, too. I'm okay. I step inside, eager to see what she on. She, 
Oh my God, I haven't seen you in forever, boy. I missed you. I, I know, right? Ever since I had to pull that Spider-Man at your pop's crib. He ain't here now, is he? She, boy, I'm grown now. I got my own crib. I, okay, Miss Independent. She, boy, you is still stupid. But maybe we should finish where we left off. What the audience say? Woo! But then it hit me. Oh, no. Whole time my little sister in the car sleep. Shut she, really cool, so what you gotta leave me? I, I know you probably trying to rain on me, but I'ma need a rain check. She, okay, you parked in the visitor spot, right? I, I don't know. I just whipped in this motherfucker. She, boy, they be out there scooping shit. Uh uh, let's go. Took me by my hand and then she directed me outside. I'm just like, all right. We get out front. I look. My car was not present, bro. I they didn't took my shit. But then I heard like the the sound of a truck off in the distance. Come to find out, they had just whipped around the bend. I instantly take off like fool from get out. Especially after realizing Brazil was still in the car, bro. I'm out there getting little. Man, my OG is about to kill me. Stay woke. Stay less. Work more. Stay ch- All right, Joe. Two things on this. One, anybody know how to make a playlist on your YouTube channel? Because I need to know. Um, and once y'all find out, please hit me in the comment section. Let me know. Email me up. But I got a new section starting with corporate. Um, it's going to be me reviewing my favorite YouTubers. So the next two I'm going to do is Reggie Cools and the, um, Auxiliary Court. Nephew, nephew about the Auxiliary Court today. Then we're going to do, uh, Deluxe. Then we, yep. Yeah, then we're going to do Tut Weezy. Look at all this booty. And then after that, we're going to do, we got, we got Reggie Cools coming to Weezy, and we're going to do, uh, Craig Lucas, and probably Bars on I-95, because I will be on the day in Connecticut. Shout out to EP. But yeah, man, make sure, you, if y'all know corporate and everything, tell them about me. We're we going to hashtag him. We're going to do this on the gram. Make sure you follow him on the gram. Follow him on the YouTube channel. You know what it is, you dick. Woo! Or not.